gentlemen, good morning. Our topic today is about the kingdom of God in which Christ said, Seek ye first the kingdom of God according to Matthew chapter 6 verse 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. This is what Christ said to the people. But nobody dare to seek the kingdom of God until now. Until God give it to somebody for the history of the world. Biblical history. If we will uh, ask Jesus Christ about the kingdom of God, The Bible says, the kingdom of God is transferred, is taken from the Jews and given to a nation, bringing forth the fruits thereof, according to St. Matthew. Matthew chapter 21 verse 42 to 43, it runs as follows. Jesus said unto them, Did you never read in the scriptures the stone which the builders rejected, the same is become the head of the corner? This is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. Therefore say I unto you, The kingdom of God shall be taken from you, and given to a nation, bringing forth the fruits thereof. So, the kingdom of God is taken from the Jews, and given to a nation that was a Christian nation. So, if we will seek for this kingdom, we have to follow the history of the Bible so that you can locate the real kingdom of God. We will start from the time when Jacob was born. If I will demonstrate to you about the birth of Jesus of uh, Jacob, Jacob was born on negative 73. This is the time when Jacob was born. At the age of 130 years, he entered Egypt. So if you will subtract or add, because this is positive here, so we will add 73. This is positive. 57. 57. 57. So Jacob was uh, entered Egypt in the year 57. Positive. Positive 57. The family of Jacob lived in Egypt within 430 years 430 if we will add 57 to 430 years the answer is 7 8 and 4 so the family of Jacob lived in Egypt in 430 years and after 430 years they left Egypt and go back to Jerusalem. So if we will add and that was in the year 457 87, I mean, at the time of Moses. So, from the year 487, we will count 480 years. 480. When Solomon constructed the temple. So, it was in 7, 
16, then 9. nine. nine. The temple was constructed by Solomon in the year 967. This is the fourth year of Solomon, so you have to subtract four from this. So, Solomon started being a king in 963. We have now 30 years left until the we have 30 years left to finish the 1,000 years of Christ. So, we have 30 37 years to finish the 1,000 years of Christ. Since Solomon reigned the kingdom for 40 years, 40 years, and you have to subtract 40 from 37, because this is algebra. It's all positive, so you change the sign of 40 by negative. So 37, this is positive, and negative 40, the answer is negative 3. That's why Solomon reigned for 40 years. 40 years. And he already extended his kingdom until the year and the negative 1,000 is negative 1,000. If you will subtract three years from negative 1,000 minus negative three, we have to change to change this positive to negative or to negative to positive so we have positive 3 by subtracting positive 3 from negative 1000 the answer is 997 at this year, Solomon was too old enough to reign the kingdom in Israel. That's why he was replaced by his son, Rehoboam, and uh, Rehoboam, because the kingdom of Israel was divided into two after Solomon committed sin. If we will let this kingdom repeat, we have appointed time of God, which is 2,520 years. So by subtracting 2,520 years, the time when Solomon was too old enough to reign the kingdom, in 997, the answer is 3. Two, five, one. The history of the kingdom of God repeated in positive 1523. So according to according to the Bible, Jesus said, You did never read in the scripture. The stone which the builders rejected, the same is become the heat of the corner. This is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous our eyes. Therefore, see I unto you, the kingdom of God, shall be taken from you and given to a nation, bringing forth the fruits thereof. In other words, the kingdom of God was taken from the Jews 
and given to a certain nation who became Christian in 1523. That's why God sent a priest in the Philippines in 1521 just to Christianize the Filipinos because the kingdom of God shall be given in the year 1523. That is the kingdom of God. Now, from the year 1523, we have to count uh, 40 years. So the answer is 3, 6, 5, 1. Uh, in the year 1560, in the year 1563, there was a certain place in the Philippines which was discovered in the year 1563. 1563. So it was discovered by Dato Pagbuaya at this year. So we cannot deny that the kingdom of God is in a certain place here in Mindanao that was discovered by Dato Pagbuaya in 1563. By adding uh, three hundred ninety years to complete the four hundred thirty years, which is the appointed time of God. So the answer is three. Then. Uh, Five. 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 Nine. 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 It was in 1953, the year 1953, that the kingdom of God was given in a certain place here in the Philippines. It was exactly in the Pitan city, which is an island surrounded by two branches of a river because long time ago when Adam when God created Adam it was in Mesopotamia in which is a place an island surrounded by two branches of a river in Mesopotamia since Mesopotamia was completely erased after the after Abraham was transferred to Canaan, so there was no longer Mesopotamia in that year. So if we look for the new Mesopotamia, it is surrounded by two branches of river, which is Pulo River and Liburan River. So I am not ashamed to tell you that it is here in the Philippines in which the Pitan city became an island surrounded by two branches of river. This is called New Mesopotamia. So in the year 15... In 15, we have to count 390 years to complete the answer, which is 1953. If we will add 10 years from 1953, we have the answer of 1963, in which the Pitan became a city under the uh, penmanship of uh, President Justado Macapagal. Another 10 years should be counted. 10 years. It was in 1973 when the Pitan City became 
shrine city under the penmanship of President Marcos. So until now, the Pitan is the shrine city in which the shrine city formerly was in Mesopotamia. That's why it is very clear that uh, the kingdom of God now is here in the Philippines, particularly in the Pitan city. That is the history of the kingdom of God. If we look for the kingdom of God, it is already taken from God from Jerusalem and given to a certain nation exactly in the Philippines which was founded in 1523 two years after this nation became a Christian nation so I firmly believe and I will tell you the truth that the kingdom of God is right here in the Philippines particularly in the Pitan city. This is the only island where the kingdom of God is to start. So we are now waiting for the term of the five Five president of the Philippines next to President Duterte. That is the only uh, year that we will wait. So this five president will finish 30 years according to the law that each president will have to reign the, king, the Philippines and six years so we have still we have now 30 years to go this will be from from uh, 2000 2000 uh, 2000 2022 and the five president will finish in 2052 there will be no human flesh to become president of the Philippines after 2052 because we are only waiting for the six or oh, five president in the Philippines after President Duterte. That is the, this is the history of the Kingdom of God which is taken from the Jews and given to a nation when which Philippines is the real nation where God was given this Kingdom to the chosen people. We are the hidden Israelites. Why? Because after the after Jesus Christ was crucified, there was a great commotion in Israel, and even Saint Paul was one of the soldiers who slaughtered the. Christian people in that place. So many Israelites got away from Israel and walked nation after nation after all the rich, rich China. They made their aristocracies in China in Guangxi River, Guangxi Province. After they had uh, enough food to eat, they walked over the ice and reached Ipugao. There they made another 
uh, rice terraces the same as they made in China. So we have now rice terraces in the Philippines made by the people from Israel. One that is one said that rich in the Philippines. Another said was by boat because the ice was uh, already uh, it was uh, there was no ice anymore. So the next seed was by boat. And the third seed reached in the Philippines by boat from uh, from Malaysia. We are not a Malaysian race. That is mistake. If we will say we are a Malaysian race. Because those people, Dato Pute and the other nine Datos came from Israel. And they temporarily anchor, anchored in Malaysia. Since they are not from Malaysia, so they were driving away and reach the Philippines in 1240. Uh, when they reached the Philippines, they established their livelihood in Panay. They anchored in uh, Sarawagan River and lived there until they, they transferred their residence here in Mindanao. That is the three seeds of God sent to the chosen land, which is the Philippines. So we are all chosen people. According to the Bible, the time was shortened because of the elect. What do you mean by this? When we say shortened time, which was shortened by God, that was 70 years. God should punish Babylon after 70 years. But because of the elect, it was only punished. Babylon was punished. After two years, that was punished in 68. 68 years. That's why Babylon was punished in 538, in the year 538. There was a great punishment of Babylon because Darius uh, assassinated uh, the king in Babylon and they became the king in Babylon at the time after 538. If you will let this repeat, we will subtract this from 2,520 years minus 538. That is 2, then uh, this is 8, 9, and 1. The repetition of history was done in 1982. From 1982, we have to count 40 years. Then it should be 2, then 2, uh, 0, then 2. So we will start at 
2022 next to President Duterte for the five president on coming president of the Philippines. That is the history, spiritual history of the Philippines, biblical history. So if you will uh, count another year so that we will be a chosen people so you have to you have to add no at the time middle persia became a king of all nations in this world uh, after 207 years so After 207 years, uh, Greece became a uh, king nation within 100. Rome ruled over the world in 644 years. If we will add this, this is zero. Four, 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 four. Four. Huh? Four. Uh, this is four. Four. Then one. Then zero. Then one. The history in Babylon repeated in 19. This nine. One thousand fourteen. So if we will. Uh, count this 1014 from the first day of the last 1000 years of God this sin if this is 1000 years of God and this is 1014 we have 14 years that will enter to the first of the 7000 years So, there should be no place to be saved. That's why, if this uh, kingdom of God was uh, was already in 1982. So, we have 18 years from 19, 1982 to 1,000 years. If 1,000 years will be sub subtracted, we have 18 years from uh, 1992. We have also we have we have 18, 18 years. So this is 1,000, 18. If you will subtract. 1014 1018 minus 1014 we have four years left there will be, there will be war so again war within four years before the 1000 years will be finished this is called Armageddon because this year this war is the uh, the sin of Cain will be a rest in this world after this 2000 no more no more sin of Cain and we will be saved this is how to shorten the year So that the, the chosen people of God can live in the chosen place, that is the Philippines. So we are very fortunate, Philippines. Very fortunate. We are the one who are chosen by God. Israel is no longer a chosen people, the Israelites. 
it is transferred to the Philippines according to St. Matthew chapter 21 verse 42 to 43. You have to read. That is the way how to seek the kingdom of God. Nobody sought the kingdom of God. I believe no pastors, no priests, from their time that sought the kingdom of God. So the kingdom of God was given to us in 1982. Repetition of the history of God in Babylon. Because the history of God started in Babylon. What is the reason? Babylon was once Mesopotamia where Adam was created. And it was completely erased by God. So God chose the Filipinos to be the real children of God. You see how fortunate the Filipinos are. I am only telling you this in advance so that you can prepare yourself to live with God after this 1,000 years from 2001 until we can finish the 1,000 years starting from 2001. So that's all that I can give you today but do not forget that my history about the kingdom of God is the only way to choose or to locate the kingdom of God in this world. So I will tell you that you prepare everything. Go back to God. All vices will be cut off so that you can live, we can live with God at the time He will reign in this world. And I will say that there will be no human flesh to become a president of the Philippines after this five, because there are 20 presidents of the Philippines according to the parable. The parable said, there are ten horns, and the ten horns are ten kings, so it is not a horn of an animal. They are ten kings. And will reign the kingdom only one hour. So if you will divide one hour, which is 60 minutes by 10, so each king shall reign only six minutes. Who of you here want to be a king within six minutes? That is not the way how to solve the problem of God. That one day of God is 1,000 years of man. So if it, if it is 1,000 years of man, so you have to divide 1,000 by 4 because there are four years in a leap year. So divide it 1,000. Divide 1,000 by four. The answer is 200 
50 days in 1,000 years. They multiply, multiply one year without leap year, that is 365 days multiplied by 1,000. And the answer is 